how much do you think it's a problem when we see our, our, our political leaders say that Islam is a, a religion of peace and say this has nothing to do with the religion, when you look at the Saudis, for example, and certainly since the 1950s, have pumped billions of uh, US petrodollars into uh, converting Muslims around the world to their worldview, which is the Wahhabist extremist form of Islam, uh, in which this uh, they have uh, which has huge implications for mosques across the Western world, including uh, Islamic education centers and the like. So how can we can really confront this when we know that our so-called ally in the Middle East, the Saudis, are pumping this poison into so many mosques throughout the Western world in order to help to bring about the Islamic caliphate and overthrow the West? Well, I'm always quite fascinated by the fact that our politi politicians um, and leaders of organizations like the EU and the UN um, and police officers um, can stand up and say and interpret Islam. These are not Muslims in most cases, some of them are. But what right or authority do they have to, set, to tell me what Islam is and is not? I mean, I, I, would, I would prefer to listen to Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, um, who is the leader of the Islamic State and is one of the leading Islamic scholars. I think he's got a doctorate from the, one of the leading Islamic educational institutions in Egypt. I, I think his perspective on Islam is more valid than a non-Islamic uh, politician in the UK. And the other, the other element is that um, uh, when you hear Islam is the religion of peace, why don't they say Christianity or Catholicism or Presbyterianism or Hinduism is the religion of peace. Why don't they say it? We, don't, we never hear that said. We never hear it said. It's the same reason as you get called honest Joe Bloggs used car dealer because we know Joe Bloggs is not honest and we know also that the only reason that Islam is called the religion of peace is because it is involved in virtually every major act of violence, particularly terrorist violence, around the world. Now I'm not saying that every Muslim is involved but that's what their religion tells them to do. You just have to read the Quran, as I have, to understand and recognize that this is not, these are not kind of some perverted act of Islam. This is Islam, pure and simple. Um, and, but I would stress, every, every, um, every Muslim is not a supporter of this activity. But those who are good Muslims and those who are devout Muslims have to support it because that's what their book tells them.